Hello everyone, welcome to the Linux Int YouTube channel. In today's video, we are gonna talk about Linux Mint. That what is Linux Mint and why it is one of the perfect Linux distro and why we should use the Linux Mint. There are various amazing Linux distributions that you can choose from. However, one such Linux distribution stands apart from the crowd and that is Linux Mint. Linux Mint is proved to be the perfect Linux distribution for various users. But what makes Linux Mint the perfect distribution? Let's find out. Linux Mint is no stranger in the world of Linux distros. It has consistently managed to find its place among the top 10 most popular Linux distributions over at DistroWatch. Due to its simplicity and ease of use, Linux Mint has gained popularity over the years. Linux Mint comes with everything that you can expect to find from a mainstream Linux operating system. It supports multiple display managers and environments including its own Cinnamon as well as Mate and KDE, XFCE and among others. Linux Mint was derived from Ubuntu which in turn is based on Debian. It means that Linux Mint stands on the mighty shoulders. Linux Mint provides you with the best of both the worlds, the Ubuntu and the Linux Mint. Linux Mint has access to the Ubuntu repository of software and packages as well as the stability that Debian has to offer. In fact, Linux Mint has a variant that is based entirely and directly on Debian and it is known as LMDE. If we talk about the multimedia codecs, you might already be aware that owing to its free and open source nature, Ubuntu does not always ship with propriety codecs out of the box. Well, Linux Mint has a cure for the multimedia codex issue. In fact, there were times when Mint supported more multimedia file formats than Microsoft Windows. You do not have to worry about searching online for solution of basic issues. Linux Mint comes loaded with a good deal of propriety drivers and solutions that are of course not contained within the package. However, backed by their own licenses, you can always choose to install these pieces of software directly when setting up Linux Mint. So if we discuss the Cinnamon desktop and the usability of the desktop, then it is very user friendly and easy to use. So here you find the app manager and when you open the app manager, you find all the applications here. By entering the name of any application, you can find the application easily. And here we have multiple options by clicking here, you can open up the terminal. And using the terminal in Linux Mint is very easy. So all the commands that you can run on Ubuntu are supported by the Linux Mint. In Linux Mint you find your browser here on this navigation panel and similarly you can open up the files and folders from here. And if you want to go back to your desktop you simply have to press here and you will go back to your desktop. And on the right side we have multiple icons that are similar to the windows. And here you get the system update managers, time, volume and battery information. Cinnamon desktop comes with the amazing desktop backgrounds. So you can easily find and set the background whatever you want. In Linux Mint you get the option to work in multiple workspace. So by default you get the four workspaces. But if you want to create more workspaces then you can create it easily from here. Cinnamon is the default desktop of the Linux Mint and Cinnamon ends up being perhaps the most user friendly and all around useful desktop available on any platform. You can turn the Linux Mint Cinnamon desktop into the desktop of your dreams. So does this mean the Linux Mint is perfect? Of course not. It is far from perfect and can in fact be better in various areas. If you are looking for a reliable operating system that can act as your primary operating system for years to come. Linux Mint is an option that really deserves to be considered. It has its own community and is available in numerous variants and flavors. Unlike various other Linux distros in its league, Linux Mint can run decently well on older computers too. Linux Mint does not follow a rolling release cycle in the true sense of the term. After the latest update, you can choose the Mint update utility to update from one stable release of Mint to another directly without having to run the installer all over again. So in this video we have discussed that what is Linux Mint and why we have to use the Linux Mint. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe our channel for more useful videos like this. Thank you.